rejoice, all musky barbarians, honoured crusaders, demon hunters and bearded wizards. Diablo 3 has arrived on Xbox One, but is it two years too late after its original release on PC back in May 2012? Here's a brief update for those that have been stuck in a damp and dusky dungeon for that time. Diablo 3 is Blizzard's third instalment that harkens back to other dungeon crawlers, especially the arcade classic Gauntlet, the PC beauty that was Baldur's Gate, and more recently on our Xbox 360's Torchlight. But the Diablo series has always carved its own path, with easy to grasp addictive play, great graphics, and an intricate statistic system boiling away. This has been a perfect port from the PC, and even if the graphics are just ever so slightly dated now, Microsoft and Blizzard both pushed to achieve that coveted 1080p at 60 frames per second. Most impressive of all is how this holds up in co-op mode. Hordes of enemies, plenty of players, swathes of spells, and not a drop in frame rate. The single player campaign is lengthy, and the additional Reapers of Souls DLC is welcome, but Solo can sometimes feel like too much of a grind. The story is fairly hollow too, it's a normal good versus evil and the hero needs to save the day hash together, and after a few lines of dialogue I found myself skipping much of it. But the CGI between acts is glorious, and fortunately covers just enough to give you the general gist of what's going on. It helps that Diablo 3 is massively replayable, in fact most players swear the game doesn't even start until you reach level 70, and it's truly addictive and fun with friends. Make sure you really up the difficulty level for maximum challenge and you'll reap some of the rarest rewards too. There is nothing better than showing off that weapon with great DPS, or spell with awesome AoE talking percentages, mods and buffs with others that understand what you're talking about. And if you are new to dungeon crawlers, Diablo almost lets you button mash through it too, enabling a fun weekend for all. Finally, I'd recommend shopping around the high streets or internet for a copy. 60 gold coins from the Xbox store is pretty hefty, even with the Reaper of Souls additional DLC but worthy adventurers that obtain it for around 40 gold coins should be more than happy with their purchase. I give Diablo 3 a solid 8 out of 10 provided you play with friends and delve into that deep stat system. Demons, the remnants of a long forgotten battle. Hope you enjoyed that folks, this is Wolfoid, signing out. <laughs>